thank you so much for coming to talk to me today. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, absolutely. For those who don't know, could you maybe give us a quick uh, synopsis or explanation of what The Quiet Hour is? The Quiet Hour is a sci-fi drama that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world um, that's been invaded by aliens that are here for our resources. But the story is really about a young girl in that world who has to keep her farm, uh, protect her younger brother and her farm against marauders in that post-apocalyptic world. So it's, it's a Western, you know, from the perspective of a young girl protecting her homestead uh, with a sci-fi backdrop. And so where did the inspirations lie for the project? Um, well, I, uh, a few years ago, I read uh, The Birds which, uh, by Daphne du Maurier, which uh, subsequently became The Birds by Hitchcock. But the original sort of short story was actually very different from, from the book because I think that Hitchcock read it once and kind of discarded it. And, and in the book, it's very much about uh, a, a, a father protecting his kids against <laughs> invasion of birds who act strangely. And what I liked about the, the short story is that the birds, in, the, the dad notices that the birds uh, stop uh, attacking human beings when the tide is high and when the tide is low. And in my story, the birds turn into spaceships and basically the uh, alien machines stop attacking human beings when, when they become dormant and we don't know why. Mm. Um, so it, like you said it's a sci-fi story with, with aliens but what was the story lie? Is it a human story or is it you know more like a western? Story? Yeah it, it's, it's a human, yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a survival story of a particular family at a particular moment in time and these machines that are here to take our resources really they we're insignificant to them as, as field mice are to farmers plowing fields so you know, we, we, the humans will get blasted by their energy if they go out um, outside of dusk and dawn, um, but, but there's no sort of connection other than they're here to take the resources. Yeah, and I guess uh, it's a bit of a metaphor for what we are doing to the planet. We somehow decided it was our planet, our Earth, and we can do whatever we want with it. But if some species was to come, uh, and drill our resources, we would be offending like what they're doing to what are they doing to our planet, our resources, but really they don't belong to us, and we're not any better than them. So that's kind of, uh, I guess, the idea behind the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, with uh, the big sort of sci fi elements, how was the production of the film and, and getting that to a place where you were happy? You know, it's a small film in terms of budget. It's a huge story, I, I believe, and, and scope, themes and so on in the movie, but the, it was a small um, budget. So we, we chose to actually um, hide the aliens, and it actually, I think, worked to our effects because they're actually much more mysterious. You know, and if we'd have tried to show the aliens or their ships in more detail, you know, you couldn't do that well on a small budget, whereas when we're focusing on the human drama, the production value and the performances of the actors and so on is fantastic. Um, you, you mentioned that it's almost a reflection of a comment on how we are now and maybe even how we would react in that situation. Do you start with that message or do you start with the story and interlace it through? What's your process there? Uh, actually, I always start with a uh, the story, uh, uh, an initial vision, and, and then I I guess I write it and, and somehow, uh, I know it's, maybe it's not <laughs> the usual process, but somehow I discover what the, the themes might be. It's not a conscious process of, mm. oh, okay, I'm going to write about what we are doing to the planet or um, a commentary on what human beings you know, are doing at the moment, but it's just, it, it turns out into something bigger. Mm. Um, and how has it been being a part of the Raindance Film Festival? Oh. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's London, one of the, one of the best cities in the world, and uh, and again, I love the spirit of Randons because it's all about you know getting movies done, and 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 it's so brave and bold what what they are doing. They're not playing the game of okay, we're gonna have big stars, and it, it, it just is. They are true film lovers and true indie film mm. lovers and supporters, and that's something I truly admire. Somebody really 
proud and to be yeah to and, be and that's been for yeah. you know Elliot and Raindance and Suzanne have really kept their authenticity about the indie spirit for like more than 20 years yes. now and I think that's rare in this business that there are those guys out there right. that so that much integrity and yeah and it's tremendous belief yeah